Okay, this is Glenn at the Barbecue Directory, and today we're going to do uh, ribs and corn on the cob. So I got the smoker going with some pecan, like I pretty well always do, and uh, I've been building a fire for about an hour, so it's just now, now down to coals. But these ribs that I got, my local store was out of regular racks of ribs, so they had these western cut. Well, the old butcher used to have some kick butt western cut. I mean, they were great. But then we got this new person, and they are weird, to say the least. But it'll work. You know, the last minute, it's the only option I had. So, uh, so I, what I've been doing is I've been marinating them in that same sauce I used yesterday, that Nuak Chum, that Vietnamese uh, chili sauce that I like. So they've been marinating in that for an hour or two. And I'm going to bring them on out here in a minute, throw them on the smoker. And probably throw the corn on. I don't think those those ribs are going to take. Uh, they're they're boneless, but um, they won't take but 40 to 45 minutes, and that's probably what the corn will take. Okay, I'm uh, back here with these ribs. <clears throat> these are the western cut ribs, and they've been marinating in this sauce. So I'm getting ready to put them on. And I decided to put these on about 15 minutes before the corn, just in case they do take a little longer. So uh, I'll be putting the corn up here now, and we'll come back and check on it later. Okay, these uh, ribs have been going about 45 minutes. Uh, I decided to let them go a little longer, so I was checking them every 15 minutes. And I'm getting ready to put the corn up here on this top rack. And we'll have about another 45 minutes, and I, I'm sure they'll be done. So uh, I'll be putting the corn up here now, and we'll come back and check on it later. Okay, I'm going to uh, grab, it's been another 45 minutes, so I'm going to grab the corn now and uh, bring it in so I can shuck it. And I'm going to let these go another few minutes while, while I'm doing that. So I'll be right back for the ribs. Okay, so there's my kick butt western cut barbecue ribs and the roasted corn. And in front of the corn, I have a uh, coleslaw I made from all the vegetables out of the garden. I grabbed some cabbage, I grabbed some uh, carrots, grabbed some onions, uh, I even used some of my uh, garlic vinegar, and then the mayonnaise I didn't have in the garden, of course. But, you know, so yeah, I put that together, and then I added some of my uh, special seasoning that I, I like to use on a lot of things. And if you go to... Uh, the barbecue directory, I, I believe I have the uh, recipe there, and you can use it on a bunch of stuff. Now, see the little bowl in front of my, my uh, corn there? That's got that new ak chum. I'm going to have that on my first year of corn. I mean, I love that stuff so much, I'll eat it on anything. So, there we are. There's dinner at 6. Later. <laughs> 